For large matrices, it is not efficient to do a cofactor expansion. So a more efficient method is to use Gaussian elimination while operating directly on a determinant. And we'll cover some general rules as we demonstrate the process. So the determinant of A is a scalar and we represent it as follows. So we have the entries of the matrix between two vertical lines. And what we aim to do is get this in row echelon form using Gaussian elimination. So in the first step we're going to flip these two rows to get a 1 on a diagonal. So that gives the determinant of A. So we have 1, 3, 2 in the first row and 0, 2, 3 in the second row. So a row flip negates the determinant. And then we want to get zeros below the diagonal, so we subtract 3 times row 1 from row 3. So let's copy our result down here. So we get 3 minus 3 is 0, 2 minus 9 is minus 7, and 1 minus 6 is minus 5. So adding a scalar multiplied by a row to a row does not alter the determinant. So let's copy our result down. And let me just remove this here. So finally, we add 7 on 2, multiplied by row 2 to the third row. So as we can see, this 0 doesn't get affected. Then we have minus 7, plus 7 on 2 by 2 is 0. And minus 5, which is minus 10 on 2, plus 7 on 2 by 3, which is 21 on 2. So that gives 11 on 2 over here. And again, adding a scalar by a row to another row does not alter the determinant. And you can verify this by calculating the determinant of each matrix that results from each row operation that we did. And now we can do some factoring to put all ones on a diagonal. So when we do factoring, we scale the determinant accordingly. So for example, if we take out 2 from the determinant to factor row 2, what we get is 2 by 1 is 2 and 2 by 3 on 2 is 3. And similarly, we're going to factor 11 on 2. So let me just make a bit of space here. So factoring 11 on 2 in the third row, we get 11 on 2 by 1 over here. So we scale the determinant accordingly when we factor a row. So therefore this matrix now is in row echelon form and the determinant of a diagonal matrix is obtained by multiplying the entries on a diagonal. So have a go at doing this. So the determinant of our upper diagonal matrix is 1 and the determinant of A is therefore minus 2 by 11 on 2 by 1. So the determinant of A is minus 11. And I encourage you to verify this by doing a cofactor expansion on this matrix.